Hey everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena. Odds are good that by the time I get around to uploading this video, it'll be long past Christmas, but I honestly can't find any good reason why we can't enjoy the season, regardless of the season. Besides, December will roll around at some point anyways, so let's move on. One thing that I miss from my pre-work slash adulting life was going to these craft bazaars during November and December. Among other things, there's a lot of things that I took for granted from the good old days. Like free time. Oh my god, I have old days now. I'm old. Decrepit. Ancient. Okay, not quite ancient yet. Anyways, let me set the scene. It was a simpler time. I was only just finding the courage to share my art on the great world wide web. Gel pens were practically a form of currency, and Gen 3 was the newest generation of Pokemon. Allowance was a scarce luxury, and typically the only cash I had on hand was what I got for Christmas, birthdays, and whatever I happened to find on the ground. But I saved what I had, then invested it in precious art supplies for the opportunity to flip it. Not to mention, have fun doing it. Yes, teen me's reason for living were these local craft bazaars. I looked forward to these things all year long, and lucky for me, my mom was heavily into them too. Which was such a huge advantage seeing as... I didn't have a car at the time, or a driver's license, so at least I had a ride to and from these places. <laughs> Seriously, I used to prep for these things like it was my personal Super Bowl, my World Cup. Not only was it just a fun time, but it was also a chance to make some extra cash. If you've never been to a craft bazaar, it's a whole bunch of booths and or tables with vendors selling all manner of unique handmade goods. Everything from baked goods, beadwork, jewelry, cards, art prints, wood crafts, even things like handmade dolls, which, on a side note, I think dolls are creepy, but that's beside the point. Other people like them, and like, you know what, that's okay, just keep them away from me. No two craft bazaars are alike. It was always something that I just loved doing. I had original art for sale, which I've looked back on some of these old pieces and I internally scream, but remind myself that it was a while back. Of course I've improved since then. One thing I also did a lot of were little Christmas ornaments, sculpted out of oven baked clay. Jeez, the last time I did any sculpting, it was back in like 2015? Feels like a lifetime ago. This whole thing was just so long ago. It was a festive and fun environment. I loved meeting other artists and crafters. Also, the food bars or trucks that came to the venue usually had amazing and delicious food. And I really do love me some good food. Like, food, it's something that when you get good food, you know it. Mm, okay, this is making me hungry now. Alas, things just slowed and eventually died. Sure, I kept up with drawing, but with working and trying to get time off from stingy management, I just didn't have the time or energy to keep up anymore. Plus, these things were usually on weekends, and weekends is when they want you in there the most and are least likely to give you time off because no, we need you. Yeah, God forbid anybody have a life outside of work. However, I would love a chance to relive these good times again. Work, mortgage, or rent, bills, it has a way of just draining your very soul. However, working on these cards for friends it brings back simpler times. I've always loved doing handmade cards that are completely original works of art, and it's something I probably won't stop doing anytime soon. 
But with all that being said, I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today's video. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed learning a bit more about my life. Anyways, this is Silver Hyena, signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!